Good evening. Hi, how are you guys? Hi, teacher. Hi, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Continue saying hello, throw a topic, break the ice. <laughs> Nelson, you like the coffee? Or not? Yes, I like it, but it's kind kind of uh, it makes me feel bad because I have I, I I have high pressure, so I only have one cup in a day. In, in Sorry, a day, a day. but you put sugar or not? No. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. Thank you for. Do you add sugar? Really, coffee without sugar? Uh -uh. The the really coffee don't need sugar. No coffee, way. Coffee doesn't need that, sugar. It does. That don't see the that don't. Uh, God didn't create sugar. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. God doesn't forgive the sin. <laughs> Put sugar is the no, it's a crazy scene. No. Please don't put sugar in your coffee. It's not, it's not necessary. Please, please, guys, please, please. I agree with you. I like with sugar. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I like without sugar too. I am drinking tea in this moment. <laughs> at the moment. Yes, at the moment, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. The question is the, the, the tea with sugar or, or not put sugar? Mm -hmm. What about tea? Tea with milk or without milk? Tea without. In my case, only sugar. Or just, just sugar? Honey or honey. Just sugar or honey. Mm. No, sugar, no. Sorry. Honey. Honey. With yes. the tea. With tea. With tea. Have, yes. you, have you ever tried black tea with milk? Oh, that's like English um, English tea. No. Okay. No. It's delicious. Really? Matcha. 
the matcha with milk mm -hmm. too, mm -hmm. and the chai with milk too. Yeah. Tastes chai. good. Okay. It tastes good, yeah. We are not used to, we're not used to drinking tea. But that's, did you know that tea, um, people drink more tea in the world than coffee? Coffee yeah. is, is the second. Yeah, the coffee, wine, tea, and beers are brothers. <laughs> okay, <laughs> they're relatives, they are relatives, okay. Yeah, it's true. Okay, guys, let me do the attendance before we start the class tonight. Carlos Alfredo Palomo Pineda. Here. Right. Claudia Maria Melendez Santos. Okay. Cristia Nathalie Erazo Rogel. Present. Excellent. Diana Elizabeth Chereguino Martinez. Not here yet. And I said the last name correctly today. I can't believe it. Diego Armando Lopez Rivas. I'm here, teacher. Good. Jorge Humberto Vela Funes. Present, teacher. Good. Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel. Present, teacher. Good. Manuel Antonio Palma. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Present, teacher. Good. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Mario José Valle Castaneda. Nelson René Olmedo Figueroa. Present. Oh, good. Norma Carolina Villeda Ábalos. Silvia Zuleima Rodríguez de González. Present, teacher. Thank you. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Susana, I guess she's driving or something. Okay. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, so what's in it today? Well, today we have to talk about different training options and uh, this is the plan for today. We're gonna start warming up, you know, what is to warm up. Okay, so I'm going to give you 30 seconds right now. You have 30 seconds. I want you to create a question in simple past. Let's start. No, no, no. You know what? Let's start with present simple. Shall we? Shall we? Okay, present simple. Make an open question for all of us to answer it. It has to be an open question, a WH question for all of you to be able to practice and answer, okay? Shall we? Okay, so you have 30 seconds. I'm gonna give you 30 seconds starting right now. Go ahead. Prepare a WH question.
Okay, ready? Ready. Okay, go ahead, shoot me your question. Um, Wendy, what, what's your open question? Um, I try, where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Um, what do you think guys? I want everybody to, to agree in a question that will make you talk for one minute, non-stop. Speak for one minute, non-stop. Where are you from? Um, no. It is open question. Uh, the answer uh, is very, very short. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I try again. Okay, somebody else? Nelson, what's your question? What do you think about this English program? What do you think about this English course, this English program, this English program? Hmm. Too serious? I don't know. No? Okay, let's see. Carlos Alfredo Palomo Pineda. Why do you have to say my whole name, right? Sorry. <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite drink and why? And wine. <laughs> and why? And okay. why? Okay. Hmm. That that's interesting. What's your favorite drink and why? Any kind of drink. Um. Yeah. For example, I could say that my favorite kind of drink is coffee because I spend my whole day drinking coffee, like three or five cups of coffee a day um that's regarding hot beverages <gasps> beverages that's regarding hot beverages um regarding uh refreshers like cold hey good evening mario um so regarding cold beverages i will say natural natural beverages like tamarindo uh, orchata with milk i like that too and regarding alcoholic beverages, my favorite kind of drink is Bailey's. I don't know if you have tried Bailey's and whiskey, whiskey, Bailey's. I mean, this kind of things is, is like alcoholic beverages. I don't drink. I don't drink. I just drink once a year during Christmas. Man, that was a good question. <laughs> I like it. But that, that's my opinion. I mean, you will need to say something like that. So let's say that Carlos question is, is the first option. Let's see. Jorge Humberto, what's your open question? It's almost the same question. Is what is your favorite season of the year? Your favorite season of the year. You will have to be very extended explaining why. And although in El Salvador we only have two weathers, right? Two kind of weathers, right? Two seasons. What are they? Uh, summer, winter, and winter. Summer, summer and winter. Summer and winter, that's all. Right yes. now? We are in, right now we are in kind of a autumn. winter and summer. <laughs> no, no, no. We, we, right now we are like in in autumn. All the trees are all the tree tree oh, leaves no. are are falling, right? Tree leaves are falling. Yeah. So it's like fall actually. They call it fall in in the United States, and that's prior yeah. to the summer. The same thing. Okay, let's think about it, Maria Elena Guadalupe. What do you think? I don't know. What is your favorite book? Um, the last. The, the last book you read. Yes. Hmm. That is an interesting question. Mm. Difficult teacher. Difficult? Nah. <laughs> There's nothing <laughs> difficult. No. I, hey, but teacher, I I don't remember when I read uh, my last book. Make it up. 
Okay. Hey, uh, if a teacher tells you invent it, no, 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 no. You say make it up, right? Make it up. Make it up. Yeah, to make something up is like create it, invent it. I don't like saying invent it. Let's make it up, make it up. Come on, make it up. Okay. So, hmm. Now this is my first question. I, I, I will guess. Um, what's your favorite book? Uh, and the last book you read. Okay, describe, what is it about? Okay, Chrysia? I have, what kind of food do you like? What kind of food do you like? What kind of food do you like? Can you pluralize food, guys? Can you say foods? No, you can't. You cannot pluralize food, okay? So what kind of food do you like? Yeah. Hmm. Because you will you will start speaking in Spanish. I like frijoles. I like rice. You know, arroz. I like casamiento. I like marriage. <laughs> no. I like divorced eggs. No. Okay. How do you say platano in English? Banana. <laughs> what? Nelson? Wait. Plate, plate, something like that. You're very close. It's platain, yes. Platain. It's platain. Yeah, there's a word for that. Okay, Susana, what's your question? I teacher, I'm sorry, I drive it. I drive it. You're driving, I guess that. Okay, no, don't worry. Silvia Sulema. Again. Okay, give me give me just a second, Wendy. Silvia? Okay, uh, why do you prefer play soccer? Do you prefer playing no. soccer? No, why do no. you prefer playing soccer? Why do you prefer play soccer? Uh, but I don't prefer playing soccer, I prefer basketball. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, more open, Diego. No, but it's white. Okay. Uh huh, why? Oh. I don't like playing soccer. What is the story of your life? What? Tell me a story of your... Tell me a story of your life? The story. The story of your life. Are you... What? That's too much. <laughs> That's too long. Maybe one story of your life. An interesting one book, story. Two books, three books. One season, two seasons of Netflix. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but if you ask someone, tell me the story of your life. Oh, my God. Well, I was born in Santa Ana in 1982, and then I moved with my brother. <laughs> Too tight perfect. Too tight perfect. Too tight perfect. What do you mean? Too tight perfect. Fascisti Santaneco. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. It's twice perfect. True. Me too. Okay, let's see, Wendy. <laughs> really? You guys are in Santa Ana? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> That's awesome. What? I miss that. I miss Antonio. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Wendy? Okay. I trace again. Mm -hmm. What is your life plan in this year? What what's your life plan this year? That's yes. fu that's future. Yeah. That's future. No, it's your <laughs> Right, guys? When you talk about plans? Yeah? Yes. Okay. okay. So let's vote. I want you to use your emojis on your Zoom and say, give me a hand. If you agree with Carlos Alfredo's question, what's your favorite beverage? Was that the, the question, Carlos? What's your favorite drink and why? Uh -huh. What's your favorite drink and why? What is your favorite drink and why? Let's see who says that out. Okay. Okay. So if you like Carlos' question, raise your hand or put in put an emoji.
I'm waiting for you. <laughs> okay, let's vote again for Carlos' question. Who is who agrees? Nobody agrees. One, two, three, no. Okay, let's go with my Elena's question. Sorry, Carlos, the audience. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that on on the chat. I'm sorry. Uh, one, two, just two. Okay. So let's go with Marilena's question. <laughs> Marilena is like, yeah, mine. Okay. What is your favorite book? Marilena, can you repeat your question? What is your favorite uh, last book you read? Oh, what is your favorite last book? Last book, book you, you read. Book. What's your favorite last book you read? Okay. Okay. Do we all agree with that question? Come on, guys. It's Thursday. Tomorrow is our last class, and then you have off. Tomorrow mm -hmm. is my last work day. Actually, I'm going on vacations for two weeks on the call center, so I'm going to be just teaching you from eight to 10. And during the day, I'm gonna be repairing the car. So if you see me all greasy from my face one of these days or tired is because I'm, I've am i been repairing. I'm changing the engine of my car. Finally, I'm changing the engine of my car. It's going from 1.1 to 1.8. So it's gonna be, I have I have this, this car in case you wanted to know. It's a Volkswagen. <laughs> Yeah, it's a Volkswagen GTI from 1978. Is it? I love it. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I love that car. Okay, so let's go with that question. What's your favorite last book you read? What is the favorite your favorite last book? Okay. Oh my God, let me think. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to show you an example of what I will say. Then you're going to practice for a few minutes, do some rounds, okay? So in your group, in your trio, let's say, each one of you will repeat your answer a few times. And then I will bring you to the classroom, to the main room, and select two or three people. Now, this is something that we will be doing, okay, day by day to push you to speak. And I will give you feedback once you're done, but you have to speak for one minute nonstop. You got it? So how do we do this? On your group, take your cell phone or open a website with a stopwatch. Got it? Yeah, okay. So what's your favorite last book you read? What's the favorite, your favorite? I don't know, it sounds weird to me, the question, but it's my, weird. yeah, it sounds weird. My favorite book. Is one, no. Yeah, what? Yes, your favorite book is just one book. But yeah, no, you, you can have different favorite books. I have like three or four, but the last book I read, <laughs> The last book that I really read and I loved it enormously was The One Thing. The One Thing by Gary Keller. Um, the One Thing is a book that talks about management, not just about management of people, but management of your life. And it teaches you how to manage your life doing the one thing that will take you to your goal. In other words, what is mo the most important thing that you have to do every day? That if you do it right, everything else will come along. If you get it, what is the right, uh, what is the one thing that you have to do every day? That if you do it in in good way, everything else will come along. For example, I made this question when I read this book for the first time, like five years ago, I applied the ideas as a manager. I applied the ideas on, on the 17 teachers that I had under my command. And, and it was amazing. I mean, I was able to develop the teachers even more. I was able to develop myself. And the only thing that I needed to do 
wants work. Work. I mean, yes, family is important, but the book, the book taught me, taught me to balance. You know, life is a line, right? There is a line in your life. And you have to learn how to bounce between work or family. If this is your one thing, you have to learn how to balance work. Let's say that my, my main thing, my one thing is work. So my secondary thing is my family. Then I have church. So I have to balance work, family, church, work, family, church, leisure, leisure time, work, leisure time, work, family, and so on. Just be jumping, but your main thing, your one thing is your job. So once you do your job, go do the other things. Yep. So in resume, the balance is the answer. The right balance, but it's not easy. It's not easy because you have to be very organized, organize your life from the moment that you wake up until you go to bed. Even going to bed is an art. You have to follow steps to be relaxed, okay? And determine determine what's, what's the best way for you to go to bed. Pray, if you want to pray, listen to music to fall asleep, or the military way, the military way, you know, like relaxing. And there's some postures you have to do to fall asleep really quick and so on. So health, some people say that health is their one thing. So it's very interesting. It's, it's, it changed my life, honestly. Perdí 40 libras in cuatro meses, so like 10 pounds per month. That was really good. Okay. So that was me. That was my favorite book, last book I read. What about you? So questions? Now I finished. So I say, okay, uh, let's go with Carlos. Let's go with Nelson. And then you move on, you answer your question. Then the next person, okay, let's say we are trios. How many are we? We are 14, so we're gonna be in trios or fours. Repeat, repeat, repeat twice, okay? One time Nelson, two times Nelson. One time Carlos, two times Carlos. Got it? Uh, one question. The, yep. the, the question is, is that you, 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 you create? No. no. What was the last? Uh, what was one of your, uh, no. oh my God. What was the last book you read? <laughs> the last book you read and became your favorite, let's say. Does that sound better? What was the last book you read and became your favorite? Okay. Became part of your favorites, became your favorite. We got it? Okay. So let's go in trios or fours. Nadie se quede en este grupo. Todos aceptan la invitación. Todos encienden su cámara. Y nos vamos en grupos pequeños a practicar una o dos veces, dos veces máximo, para poder hacerlo. Uno es el moderador, ¿eh? Solo uno que es el moderador. Y por favor, no perdamos el tiempo. No digamos, yo voy primero. No, hombre, yo voy. No, yo, no, dale voz. Se nos fueron diez minutos. <laughs> no de acuerdo quién va primero. So no, just go for it, okay? Make the question and number one. Let's go. One, two, three. Hello, Diego. Hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. Sorry, hello. but I can be the first because I'm eating. Sorry, I, I, I want to be the second. Uh, but it's a, and sorry, but I, I am driving <laughs> at the moment. Uh, but it's a, I don't, I don't read. Uh, 
Eh. Carlos, you are the man. You are the, the chosen. Oh, you, you too. You the, too. Cho the chosen. And I'm, I'm trying to to remember the the name of a book. Is this a question for everything? Yes. The same question. Hmm. What is a, a, a maze? It's a, it's a question or, or what is a reader, a similar book? I don't listen to the instruction. Uh, what is the the what is your favorite book that you ah, read? What is your favorite book? I don't At read. Last. I don't like to read. <laughs> 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 I don't like to read. <laughs> For some article, you know, no. article. I don't. I I I sleep sleeping uh, when. When, when uh, I read. No. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you read in Facebook or Instagram or Twitter? I don't know. Uh, I remember um, uh, in Spanish, the the quien se robó mi queso. I have read that too. Who, who stole my shoes? Or who is? Who stole my shoes? I was well, I, um, in um, in a school, in primary or in school. Is a uh, remember the uh, obras, <laughs> but yes. a, I don't like read. <laughs> Iliada Troya, but I don't like it. Or the purple book. <laughs> no. What? The purple book. No, I don't like. I is a went to the hipote. No. <laughs> but the last book, I don't know. Um, I... In in my case, I I have remembered the book, the name of the book. I I read the. The riches, uh, the no, um, the riches men of Babylon. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a a book uh, about about a man who was the the richest uh, in in Babylon. And every people uh, wants or wants, wanted to know the the secret. And this I I don't remember as well, but um, I'm trying to remember. But um, uh, there was a, a poor man, and he. Uh, so I don't remember any any last book. Maybe the, the four. No, no. Because the, the, the last book I opened open it was uh in my career. But, but you don't like that. <laughs> no, I don't like I don't like much read, but it's a purpose every year, but I don't know. Maybe maybe the grave fall out. What it's about? No, no, it's a purpose to every oh. year, but the the grave is may fall out every year. Oh, okay. <laughs> but maybe one book you need reading the school, and do you like it? Uh -huh, maybe. The the or a movie that it that it was 
<laughs> a book, but you movie. saw the movie? <laughs> like that. Uh, in that case, maybe, well, well, is The Great Gatsby is a book. I okay. saw the movie, yeah. I saw the movie too. No, no. <laughs> okay. And Nelson? Uh, I don't have a real, uh, I don't have a favorite book. Also, like Mario, because I, I don't use to read so much, but I think that one of uh, one book that I I remember from high school is Little Prince. Mm -hmm. um, is your favorite that, <laughs> that book? It's it's so amazing because uh, it 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 gives you uh, a lot of knowledge or a, a lot of um, stories where you can find some uh, like knowledge or, or, or wisdom uh, every chapter you can uh, find a different story with a different um, uh, uh, like moraleja or or, 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 I don't know. And I think that, I, that, that that book is one of that I can I could remember right now. It's a beautiful book. My sons mm, like to read every single night. Uh, 10 or 12 page of the book and I remember for a one or two years reading uh, many and I remember a phrase essential um, the essential is invisible um, to the sea or to the air I don't know is the phrase a good phrase I like it too. Yes. I never read it at the school. <laughs> I read it when I started the university because all my classmates talk about that book. <laughs> and I, I was I was clueless about it. But when I read it, I also like it. And I think it's different that when you read it with a child, like a child, with, a, with the mind of a child, of when you are grown and when you can understand a lot of things or, or the lesson that you can learn. Mm -hmm. I agree with you uh, because uh, you can understand certain things when you are young and later when you are an adult and you know, uh, or you have more experiences in life, you can relate it in certain factors in uh, right uh, and that's it only three stories uh, teacher uh, help me please what is the name for the uh, the who uh, write uh, Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn um I, I Charles forgot. Dickens. Charles Char Dickens. Mm. Wasn't it? I, I, I think it's a woman teacher. It's a woman. Mm. Because the first teacher <laughs> in this type uh, of uh, to learn English, for example, in, in intermediate, intermediate uh, for the teacher have the, the, the book. I oh, know, Mark Twain. Yes, I know I mean, it's, it's a man. It's a, it's yeah, a man. Mark, Twain Mark Twain wrote ah, right. Tom Sawyer, oh, but yes. Oliver yes. Twist was written by Charles Dickens. Mm. Yeah, Tom Sawyer was Mark Twain, and Oliver Twist uh, was Charles Dickens. Oh, right. Yeah, this is a uh, that is a 
that that are the three short stories um, uh, and Alice in the Wonderland. That is teacher. That's, That's it. it. Yes. <laughs> okay. How many times have you spoken? Are you taking the time? Uh, around one minute, I think. Okay. Take a stopwatch. Use a cell phone if you want. Take a stopwatch. One minute. Don't stop, and then you go like, okay, that's it, time's up. One minute. Next, okay? Okay. Okay. This challenge is jam. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, jam. That's, that's the jam minute. I mean, jam the jam minute. technique, yeah. Just a, just you a got minute. it. Yes. <laughs> I put the chronometer in my... But when you finish the book, you... You uh, I go take a, another book. Take a rest, and uh, I I want to to ask about that. If you choose or take your time to choose another one, I choose another another book. Okay. The different the different uh, th uh, themas, uh, themas topic topic. topic. Yes. yes. Teacher, I was uh, say so no. How do you say it? saying? I was saying to Norma about the question is so hard to me because I don't remember the the last book that I I, I read because uh, I I don't know I I prefer to to do something physically or or watching TV uh, a series in Netflix maybe are you are you taking the time with a stopwatch? Uh, are you timing? Ah, uh, no, 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 because we just we are just two participants, and we try to to speak about the the topic. But uh, I don't know. I I hear about the the the, the partners, the co-workers of the. Uh, classmate that they read the, the books but I don't have the that habit I consider it's a, a good habit but uh, I prefer to do something physical or watching TV but uh, the last the last book could be a manual of the uh, construction or a manual of the uh, using of a program computer to design rods or rods is, rods is correct to rods, design uh, weight rods broadcast uh, I'm sorry to design what uh, rod, rods carreteras Oh, roads, roads, uh -huh. roads. To so design roads, okay. Design roads and practice uh, some some programs for uh, design of structure design. Building. For for designing buildings and structures and structures for designing. Cuando ocupas for vas a usar ing si lo que quieres decir luego es un verbo. For designing, to design, for designing. Okay. Mm -hmm. But that's that is the this my participation with that question. Okay. Cool. Without without books. <laughs> okay. Let's go back then. Let's see how we do. Okay.
Okay, so how are we going to do this? Diego, what is your favorite color? Blue. Blue, Carlos like Alfredo. Blue. Okay, Carlos Alfredo, ready? So this is gonna be uh, very interactive and I need you to participate. We are on advanced one. So at this point, you should be mimicking uh, the role of a teacher. So how do we do this? Pay attention to your classmates. Help me with the feedback. For example, before Carlos speaks, I noticed that an area of improvement for Carlos and many of you is final sounds. Every word in English has a final sound. For example, the word book. The final sound is a K, K. And the K sound comes from your, from your throat. So you say book, book, okay? Some, some mispronounced words, there is a difference. And I understood this from Poison's song. I think it was Poison. Pour some sugar on me. Was it? No, Def Leppard, right? The flip part, yeah. Pour some sugar on me. So poor, poor is poor, P-O-U-R. Okay, that's poor. To, to, to pour a liquid, pour some wine, pour something, small pieces like sugar, pour sugar, pour wine, pour oil. Now, not having money, like all of us, like all of us, we are poor, poor. Oh, poor little thing, right? Poor. You oh. are poor. You are poor. We are poor. I am poor. You got it? Poor, poor. Now, don't believe everything that I say. Go to the websites, you know, go to Google and do the research. So we have one minute. There used to be an option to have this thing ringing. I don't remember where it is. But anyways, oh, sound level. Okay. Okay. So let's go. You have one minute. Uh, Carlos, tell us about your favorite book or the last book you read. You have one minute, ready? Ready. One, ready. two, three, action. Okay. Uh, the last book, book that I that I read uh, was the richest man in Babylon. Uh, in, it's an interesting book. Um, um, Babylon was known for being uh, the richest series in in the past. Uh, so there was a, a guy, a young a young guy, that he was poor. But he, he wanted to have um, money. So um, one day, um, a rich person uh, went to his work, and, and the, the rich person wanted that the young man uh, make, made a, a, job, a job for, for him. So um, and he was going to give him some advices. Excellent, very good. So 10 sentences in one minute. Mm, you can do better, you could do better. Of course, you need to elaborate your ideas, you know, have something else to say, I don't know. But you're doing good, you're doing good. Thank you. Average, let's talk about average. Basic students, and they they must say at least eight sentences per thirty seconds. You know, so if you measure thirty seconds, they have to say at least eight sentences. Intermediate students should say at least ten to twelve sentences in one in forty five minutes. 45 minutes advanced students advanced students should at least say 12 plus you know more than 12 uh, sentences 
in um, in one minute. Okay, that this is like a general average study that we conducted on 2016, 2017. And that's the way it is. You know, we, we measured multiple, many students, and that was the result. Eight sentences, 30 seconds, basic students. 10 to 12, 45 seconds, intermediate and advanced. They should use difficult, you know, complex words um, in advanced levels. But that was the standard for, um, how can I say this? Um, a very pushy academy. We are not pushy here. Uh, we are not pushing you to learn English. I try to do my best, but it's up to you how you push yourself, okay? And what will be pushy? What will be being pushy? Well, I will call you every day. Hey, Carlos, did you do the homework? Okay. Hey, Carlos, send me a recording, no more than 30 seconds to my cell phone, to my WhatsApp. Answer the question, what did you do yesterday? I mean, your area is past simple, so... What did you do yesterday, Carlos? Send me the recording, I'll be waiting for that. That's being pushy, okay? Pressure, pressure. But that's not something you will see here. So let's see. For being one of the richest, one of the richest cities. Okay. Uh, you said something else and I wrote this because I wanted to make the correction. It was known for being one of the richest, oh, because you didn't use the one of, for being one richest, you said for being one richest city, is it one of the, the richest. Remember this, superlatives, the richest. Ya vieron superlativo, verdad? Comparativo, yeah, okay, good. So one of the richest, the article. Pronunciation, wanted to have or wanted to, wanted to have, wanted to have, wanted to have. Just practice that, wanted to have. Okay. Um, and by the way, super rápido cuando un verbo oh, regular, cuando un verbo regular esté en pasado simple, es decir, termina en ed, la tercera regla tiene dos pronunciaciones y eso es determinado por la cantidad de consonantes. Termino en dos consonantes, agrego la ED, entonces tengo dos opciones. O digo wanted, que es como lo general, wanted, pero está muy pronunciado. O digo wanted, wanted. I'm a cowboy, I'm still horse I ride, I'm a wanted, dead or alive. So it, it, de hecho toma otro significado el verbo en esa canción, wanted. Buscado, okay, wanted, wanted to have. Okay, wanted that the young man made. He wanted that the young man, okay, sometimes you don't need this. This is okay, I mean, está bien gramaticalmente, solo que podrías haber obviado esto, y esa es una pregunta que quiero que se hagan todos. ¿Cómo se escucha esto? ¿Se ve bien o se ve mal? ¿Qué podría ser mejor? Wanted the young man made something for him da, da, da. okay it's optional is it that that connector okay good job who is next carlos or i'm sorry alguien tiene más feedback para carlos anybody else did, did you know what is any area of improvement for carlos no Ok, súper rápido, chicos. ¿Qué es lo que podemos evaluar con, cuando un compañero está hablando? ¿Podemos decir que tiene buffers o no? ¿Saben qué son buffers? Ok. Muletillas. Más comunes, the. El uso de to be donde no corresponde. Y el peor de todos, blank. Or the way I call it. Patricia Star. Right. Uh, oh my God. I don't know what to say, Bob. Right. So, yeah, that could be, and that's the worst. I mean, you, you will blank. I don't know what to say. Right. Okay. So, buffers. Uh, uh, el más común. La A. Uh, so, be careful with that. 
buffers. Um, what else can we say? Speed, pronunciation. At this point, I want you to speed up, but I prefer, I prefer articulation, okay? The speed of speech is important. Speech speed is important, but I prefer articulation. Not pronunciation, articulation. You're articulating the words according to what you are saying. I prefer you speaking like this, but pronunciating properly, opening your mouth the way it is. Okay, so don't rush. Who is next, Carlos? Uh, the name, I have to, to tell the name. Say the name, yeah, or tell me what's your favorite color? Uh, maybe. O puedes elegir a alguien que tenga la cámara apagada, si, si te parece, también. Don't worry. Okay, uh, Susana. <laughs> Susana. 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 Please come to the front. Susana, Beatriz, Ortiz de Cornejo. Hello. 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 Anybody there? It's so dark in here. No han visto ese TikTok. Un señor viejito se murió. Y su último deseo fue que reprodujesen un recording que él hizo dentro de su tumba. Ya cuando hicieran hecho lo y metieron su caja. Fue su última broma a su familia porque el señor era súper matado el chiste. Entonces pusieron el recording y eso decía, hello, hello, anybody there? And he was like, knock, knock. Hello, I don't want to be here, it's too dark. Hello. Y todo matándose del chiste en el entierro del señor. I think I'm going to do that. Okay, Susana, not there. Hello. No, okay. Okay, Carlos, select somebody else. I think she's still driving, maybe. Cristia. Okay. Christia. No. <laughs> yes. You say, thank you, Carlos. I need it. Thank you, Carlos. Yes, I wanted to talk. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so again, tell us about the last book you read and it became your favorite. One, two, three, action. Okay. Um, the last book that I read was The Pet Cemetery uh, in Spanish, The Cementerias Mascotas. <laughs> yes. But um, it's the Stephen King and I like these kind of uh, stories and the fiction and mystery and kind of uh, scary uh, stories. And that book um, uh, told about the uh, one weird cemetery uh, is near, uh, is behind of the one house. And, and all of the people of the neighbor came to do a funeral for their pets in, in this cemetery. And the majority of pets uh, died because uh, it's near a strange uh, street or um, highway. I don't know how how they say it. And- Thank and you. <laughs> that was one minute. Wow, okay. okay. <laughs> Good job. You made nine sentences that I could count. ¿Cómo cuenta las oraciones, teacher? Ah, bueno, identifico los patrones como conectores, por ejemplo, o pausas que me indican una coma. Una coma puede ser igual al conector end. Eso me indica que ahí termina una oración y empieza la siguiente. Okay, so let's see. Is the, well, I'm going to do the opposite this time. Anybody has any feedback? Any feedback for Cristia? Okay, si nadie tiene feedback, voy a empezar a elegir algunos para que den su opinión sobre la compañera, okay, sobre 
lo que dijo. So, I'm going to start with Nelson. Nelson, help me. What did you identify? Did you like Chris's speech? Yes. I think that Chris made a very good job. Uh, she was very fluent and also uh, has a good vocabulary. And she really knows how uh, what the book was about. Uh, the only word that I heard, uh, it was scare instead of scary, scare stories or something like that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So it was scare, a scare story instead of scary story. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. True. Yeah, true. I, I, I got it too, but I didn't write it. I didn't get it on time because she was she had good fluency. That's good. Okay, that's it, Nelson. Yes, that's it. Awesome. Okay, good. So let's see. Is the Stephen King? Yes. Sabe, sabe que me está pasando esto y lo digo en español porque quiero que comprendan a qué van a llegar cuando ya sean completamente bilingües, como no han estado en otro país por más de uno o dos años le va a dar dislexia y es normal. Y la dislexia es esto. Tu español se vuelve parte de tu inglés. Eh, es, uh, o sea, ocupas el de como de. <risa> o lo opuesto. Eh, está encima de 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 y ahí te suena el th en la cabeza. Ok, lo estás escribiendo, está encima está encima de la it's like what no wait I don't know eso me está ocurriendo últimamente so is the Stephen King is of Stephen King uh, the last book I read was of Stephen King or was y eso es lo, lo que se debe de hacer was Stephen King's uh, what's the name of the book? Uh, the Pet Cemetery. Pet yes. Cemetery. 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 The stress is on the first syllable. Cemetery. Sir. Hey. Um, I think that is Pet Cemetery like that? by Stephen King. Mm, cemetery is, is yeah. the, the, Cem the cemetery, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Stephen yeah. King's. You can say yes. both. Exactly. I was about to say that. What's Stephen King's Pet Cemetery? Or you can say Pet Cemetery by Stephen King. Mm -hmm. Yeah, both are acceptable. That's right. Let's see. In your fourth sentence, you said uh, the fiction and the. I like the fiction. You don't need the article. I like fiction books. I like fiction. And what else did you say? Um, scary. Oh, yeah. There's what you said, right? I like yeah. fiction and scary movies. I like fiction, scary books. Oh, okay. Also, I said mystery. Oh, mystery. Mystery. Yes. I like fiction, scary, or mystery books when you list. Good job. Uh, told, it told about final sounds. It tells. I think you were saying talks about. The, the book talks about. Yes, I think the I book said talks that. about. But it sounds better if you say the book tells about. I think. Oh, okay. It tells okay. about. Or. Uh huh. This, you know what? Something more natural, Christian, will be. Um, it goes. It goes about. The book, it, it goes about a girl and da, 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 da. No? Oh, or can I, or I can use a, it's regarding about da, 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 da. Uh, no. It's regarding, no, it's, it's about. Okay. It's about this, this, and this, and this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now this is critical. Look at the PDF that I send you, okay, about models, remember, you cannot use prepositions after models, okay? They can do a funeral. After any model, no matter what model it is, you need a verb on its base form, okay? They can do a funeral, they can go, they can dance, 
they cannot dance. Okay, got it? Yes. And this, yeah, it sounds right. The majority of pets die. Most of the pets or most of pets, most, most of the city pets die. You got it, most of pets die because there's a road very close to the city or the town. Okay, you got it? Bien, me extendí yeah. con esta dinámica porque quería que agarren la onda de lo que vamos a estar haciendo al inicio de la clase, no por una hora. <laughs> okay. So, para que estén preparados, no es broma, the jam technique. A este punto ustedes solo eso necesitan, jam technique, jam technique. Okay. Tell me about hammocks, Marilena. Oh, hammocks are beautiful. They are, I don't know who invented hammocks, but if I could just have hammocks instead of my bed in my house, I would be sleeping in hammocks a whole life, you know, with all my family. That's amazing. Um, there are different kinds of hammocks. There are some that are made of... Uh, Cords, you know, artisanal made. There are others made of cloth. I love the ones, with the colorful ones. Man, <laughs> okay. Muy importante, grábense en su celular y escúchense a sí mismos para poder autocorregirse. Okay? It's very important. Porque la queja típica es, es que no tengo con quién practicar y no estás vos mismo, pues. Y te decís, me mesmo, vamos a hablar inglés. So let's do it. Okay. So let's see. Yesterday we talked about a little bit about um, negative effects of not having training programs in your company. Uh, so right now, Mr. And Mrs. Employees, I don't know, ladies and gentlemen, owners of businesses, what happens if you don't have any training program for your employees. I mean, of course, you have the induction. I remember back in 2000, the 2000s, between 2000 and 2005, I worked as an assistant uh, on the payroll inventory on a small company, on many small companies. I even worked at Selectos, you know, when I was in 2000. But anyways, long story short, Every company that I, that I was on, the only thing they did was the induction. The first day of work or during the first week sometimes. Okay, this is your job. This is your office. That's your desk. There's a computer. And this is Carlos. This is Pedro. That's Pablo. That's Dino. Okay, and so on. And this is your place. And, and that's it. Questions? No? Okay. That's it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Al agua pato, okay? Mm -hmm. Go swimming. And then that's it. But what about other things? Nowadays, nowadays, many companies try. They really try to have trainings. Let's call them workshops. Have you ever been to a workshop in your company? What kind of companies? I mean, what kind of trainings have you been to? No. What about teamwork? In my office, um, the last um, course is about security. Um, in all, in various, in, in all aspects and our job, um, when when I translate to the um, office, central office, um, other regions, and when you go to the communities, and how um, in the translators, translators, they need interpreters. Uh, um, uh, you got me lost. You got me lost there. Translators. What do you mean by translators? Traslados. Oh, oh okay. Move. To move people from one place to another. Okay. 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 
just one thing. Uh, great job, Marilena. Central office headquarters. The headquarters of your office, right? If you if there are many, how do you say sucursales in English? Intermediate five. Branch. Excellent. Branch. Selectos has many branches and the headquarters is in La Olimpica here in San Salvador, right? Yeah, many branches, one headquarter. Okay, have you ever been to a teamwork workshop? And the training that, uh, or program, the course that Marilena is talking is a government requirement. So that's why you see it in all companies nowadays. How do you call that? course that training is related to first aids mm -hmm. i remember teacher when i start in the in the company just was one day one in, induction and the next day i have to to work with with my boss, they trying to to teach all the things that I have to do. Hmm. But, was... but to learn the 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 how do you say the complete uh, homeworks that you need to do is with the with the time. Hmm. You, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, I consider it's is difficult to 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 can see all the stuff that you can make in, in the work because it's, it's a project. It's a, maybe are things that uh, that you you don't know if maybe if you are studying about. Uh, engineering, uh, because the project is is not necessarily so common like a building. It's a dam mm -hmm. to to create energy. So it's it's difficult that you in the U university can see that kind of project. You don't see this this kind of projects at the university. No, it was complete uh, things, new things to learn, but it's okay. Right now, I had five years working there. Awesome, awesome! But you're learning a lot, I guess. Yes. So you're a civil engineer. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay tasks you can have operations or administrative tasks it all depends on your on your job right so my point is no trainings okay what are the negative effects as an employer that you may encounter if you don't have these courses to develop your your employees teacher no? uh, teacher uh, in in my case uh, i i would like to share uh, 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 little, uh, a short little part in my previous jo uh, job. For example, uh, I work in a, in a specific company like a courier, a courier man or mensajero, right? Uh, what do you say, mensajero? Messenger. Mensajería. Mensajería. Uh oh. On the messaging department? Uh, like where uh, courier, depart courier department. The courier right. department. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, but uh, anybody, uh, uh, no one, uh, teach me taught. how to. Sorry? Nobody taught me? Talk me. Taught me. Okay. Uh, no, uh, uh, when I say teach me, uh, if uh, like uh, I I don't I didn't take a 
induction or introduce uh, the thing to do introduction the thing i i i, I will do mm -hmm. right and in, in in one opportunity i i went to i went to i went to the bank and i made a deposit but uh, uh, i remember uh, anybody uh, tell me about the the process nobody told me the process nobody, nobody yes nobody told me about the process mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's very very funny for me because the the check was a uh, for one million dollar but the, the, yes uh, but the the cashier the cashier uh -huh. the, the cashier uh, didn't see the, the 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 amount for the and they put the, and they uh, pr, pr, uh, type it uh, typed uh -huh. ten ten thousand just ten thousand but miss a, a zero <laughs> oh my god yes and when I returned to the office uh, the my boss received me the 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 com uh, comprobant the comprobant uh-huh the uh, ticket uh -huh. the, the ticket and uh, when when she see what happens with the, the amount the check was a uh, one million but the amount and immediately i returned to the bank for the that she repair or uh, yes uh, the the ticket in the correct amount wow this, this was a a, a problem it was a big problem. A big problem, yes. It's not compromised. Uh, it's actually a receipt ticket. Uh huh. But uh, the problem was resolved. Was resolved. Yes. Resolved. Okay. Resolved. So you learned what what I think yeah, that what yes, Manuel is saying uh, is that generally since, this, since uh -huh. that that moment I I I learned yes. You you learn actually, yeah, and that's life. I mean, if you are yes, not, yes. if you're if you're not taught something, life is gonna teach you. If yes. you're not taught something, life is gonna teach you. But you must make a mistake to learn it. Yes. So now, thank you, thank you, Manuel. Now, professionally speaking, on your job environment, on your work environment, there are different kinds of trainings. Tonight's topic is actually about. Um, the benefit of different training options. So in your job, when you really have trainings nowadays, mm -hmm. there is a classification, let's say, and it all depends on how convenient it is, depending on what you do, how you are trained. Let me give you an example. I have a friend who needed an accountant, an accounting assistant, an accounting auxiliary, an accounting assistant. And there were some profiles, but she wanted a young guy, you know, somebody with a brilliant brain for numbers. So she started looking for people knowledgeable about accounting, but she noticed that everybody that she interviewed, the, their profile was boring. You know, like, oh my God, right? They knew rules and everything. But then I told her, why don't you change your perspective? Why don't you look for people knowledgeable on numbers? And she was like, what, what do you mean? Why don't you look for someone? I mean, the interview, don't do the interview like, what do you think about this law on accounting? What do you think about, what do you do if there is this conciliation this bank conciliation and you do that no why don't you do a test a math test okay and we designed a test um, like in google forms google forms instead of having people go into your office and doing an interview right there why don't you do a google form and just let them do the exercises they only have one minute to finish the exercises i don't know time it it didn't work she found this smart guy 
who actually was able to um to pass the interview, she noticed that he was like, man, really fast, right? Very sharp, very sharp. And there he is, he's working. Now, what kind of training she designed? Because I told her, let him see what you do and then ask him to do it. In other words, monkey see, monkey do, right? Monkey see, monkey do, go ahead. And it worked. The guy worked so fast. He got it. I mean, he got the idea of the job. And now he's very close. She's very close to let him go. Okay, now go swimming. Okay. So that's the, that's that is one type of training. There are 10 different types of training that we're going to read a little bit today. And this type of training, I want you to tell me what kind of training is the one that I just described. Bien, super rápido. Necesito que me digan, ¿quién se perdió con lo que les acabo de contar de mi amiga buscando a alguien? No, everybody, all good, all good. So, perfect. You have 10 different types of trains on your WhatsApp and here on the chat. I need you to identify what type of training is the one that I just described. Where is that classification? How do you call that type of training? Now, this material that I'm sending you, uh, number one, you cannot share it on the screen on your groups. Number two, just go one by one and find the best fit for the story that I just narrated to you, okay? Of course, understand the different types of training, okay? Questions? No? Now, reading, take turns. Take turns with your classmates, okay? Okay. Let's go. Okay. There's no camera group. I don't know, it's Claudia Silvia. Okay. Claudia Silvia, you're here? Uh -huh. Yeah, I am here. Okay. Do you, can you pass me the link? I can open it from WhatsApp. I don't know why. Thank you. Down. Guys, I'll stand up for a minute, okay? In just a minute, I'll be right back.
Teacher, what is that word? What's mean? What's the meaning of Jimmy? Jimmy? Jimmy key. Jimmy key. Let's find out. Affectista. That makes 3D effects. Jimmy key plots. Hmm. Intended to attack to attract attention or trade. Huh, it's something that attracts the attention, that's it. Uh, the point was for you to read aloud one by one of the of the parts, but if it's it's okay. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Remember, that. remember, you have to speak. That that's the whole point. So this cause, this cause the point. With the next simulation employing training. Wendy? Wendy? Can you read? Sorry, I Your can hear you. Problem. Sorry, <laughs> instruction learning training. No. You, you, you don't have the... What part? The simulation and project training. Okay. Simulation and project training. Yes. Okay. Simulation training is most often provided through a computer element or virtual reality device. The speed, the speed, the speed, I don't, I don't know, despite, I don't know, the initial cost for producing that software or technology. However, simulation training can be a necessary option for employees. In risky, risky, or high stake fields, you often see simulation training for pilots or doctors, but it can be use, useful for other employees too. This type of employee training is also highly effective and really probably 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 allowing employees to progress consistently consistently and in a their own pace next Uh, Manuel? Oh, I'm sorry, I I received a, a telephone call and and I ask I ask you, uh, you I need to to read one of the case. Yes, yes, the form. Ah, okay, thank you, thank you. I'm sorry. Uh, may I read the number four? Hands yeah, hands of training. Of training. Uh, all right. Uh, hands, hands on training includes any experiential training that focused on the individual needs of the employee. It's conducted directly on the job. Hands on training can help employees fit perfectly into their on, upcoming or current role while enhancing their current skills. 
uh, training station notes notes one advantage of henos training is that they are applicable immediately to the employees jobs they are also effective for training when it comes the new business equipment and procedures this is a time intensive method of employee training however that's best used when there are enough resources available to support employees during the program. Learn more about experiential learning here. Uh, the, the next step is uh, understood. Uh, this is the, the next step. The, we we are go, we had to finish. I um I will read the other paragraph. If I if I I will me okay okay coaching and mentoring coaching or mentoring can share similar qualities to hands on training, but this but the but. But in this type of employee training, the focus is on the relationship between an employee and a more experienced professional, such as their supervisor, a coach, or a veteran employee. The one-on-one -on -one mentoring style creates a relationship between employees that carries far beyond training. It also allows the employee to, to ask questions. Group, the, the teacher said, take turn and understand each. Uh, do you understand each of the, of the method of training? I, yes. I, I, I agree with the number six that People only retain 20%. <laughs> and what this. do you think that was the method they used in that company? I think that was the hands-on training because uh, they give the 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 to the people um, a, a, a file that they had to make it in a, in a, in a few minutes and and then they can view or can a, a, they can uh, know how the uh, what the skills has every person um, i think that was that was the, the 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 training method that they use also it says that um, include any experimental training and I, I remember that the, the, the teacher says that he uh, see he suggested that uh, type of of, of that uh, exercise to the new hiring. Mm -hmm. uh, but what was the the teacher said about the 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 some keys to the to to their their friend to to be higher I'm sorry I, I didn't catch it uh, I I wanted to to say that that I don't hear about the 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 keys or the the metal that the friend of the teacher uh, uh, used for be higher. Mm, uh, I remember that he says that they sent it a file with an exercise and an accountant exercise to all to the all the all people all the people, and they had to resolve that exercise in a in a certain minutes and. They can uh, uh, to look who who made it faster, 
and just for the file, the, mm -hmm, the file the, uh, to to check the the answer of the the, the participants to the mm -hmm. to the place who finished the 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 exercise first i think okay sounds oh, interesting what, what do you think which other uh, type of training will be i i read all the the methods but i don't don't hear that the teacher said about the their friend because uh, that's the reason I can connect with the the method. But hearing about Nelson explain to us, I, I agree that it's hands on training. Yes, in that in that case, that is the I I I am understand the like the company gives you a, a file a test maybe that and you answer and they check and, and if you are okay or or you are the best uh, note maybe you can be hired I don't know. Do you agree? Yes. What about you, Norma Carolina? Mm -hmm. I think maybe um, with mentoring. I yeah, feel good with that. Be um, because um, Always one person uh, stay um, with you in all moments, and you um, learning with her or him. I like this. Okay. In my case, uh, number nine, management specific activities, because I think is, I think is a good way to, to introduce the, the employees with the company, with the different activity like uh, building exercises or role playings, and they will be involved with the with the company I don't know Susana what what do you think sorry I working <laughs> it's in a closing the the mount <laughs> sorry Okay. <laughs> Is it in working in your in your self self in no sería in the misma company and you? Ah uh, yes, we we work uh -huh. in the same company. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's a it's a closing month. Yes. Uh, teacher, uh, we we already read all the article, and we are discuss about what we like, or, or what what method is better for um in our opinion. I I think. Okay, good. Let's go back then, so we can discuss in group. Okay.
Okay. Let's just wait for your classmates. 30 seconds. Okay, okay, so based on the example that I gave you, uh, what kind of training is the one that I described? What type of training is it? Hands of training. Why? Because in the uh, super select, uh, the boss say, hey, okay, that's right. <laughs> Just make it. <laughs> okay, this is the way you do it. Go ahead. It's time to, to shine. It's your time to shine. Okay. We we but there's a nesting period, you know. It's like the first month or so or three months sometimes. You're you're under 30 days. 30 okay. days. 30, 30 days. days. 30 days, right? Yeah. They 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 you have to prove you're yeah, worthy skills. and you're worthy your skills yeah, yeah but no the example that i gave you that my friend uses when used with the new guy you know teaching him accounting what kind of method is it is it hands-on training no it's a, a learning or simulation and playing training, but I think that is learning because he has the opportunity to realize um, some uh, pro game test activities. I don't know. Oh, oh. Mm, actually, e learning is electronic training, you know, like on the computer, right? Remotely, remotely. Yes, but not necess necessarily. Oh, really? Yeah, you can, but for example, in my job is um, in learning and hand of training too. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, there are, there's a mixture of trainings that you can use, but the example that I gave you, where does it fit? What kind of training is it? Somebody who is telling you, okay, so here, you see here, here you, you have to enter this okay and that result is going to give you that okay you got it okay show me go ahead try it oh, okay good you're doing it very good great job what kind of training is that Si Dios les regala aprender oh. súper bien inglés y tener un trabajo en un call center o en una empresa que solo se ocupe de inglés y un día abren una oportunidad para ser entrenador, uh, esto les va a servir mucho. Believe me. Because you have to decide what type of training you're going to deliver. How are you going to deliver it? So it's very useful. So if you have someone next to you showing you step by step, how do you call it, Jorge Humberto? Um, I don't know. Based on the Nelson's Pelas. Be careful. <laughs> because I don't I don't hear very ba based on Nelson's. Based on Nelson's. The Nelson. <laughs> Nelson said. Uh, uh -huh. I, I consider the maybe uh, hands-on training. Hands-on training? Yes. Let's see. Hands-on training includes any experimental training that's focused on the individual needs of the employee. It's conducted directly on the job. Okay, 
Hands-on training can help employees fit perfectly into their upcoming or current role while enhancing their current skills. Yeah. It's like an open eye. <laughs> Could yeah. be whatever. Yeah, and you know what? That's the best way to learn. Hands on. Put your hands on the task. Let's see, training Include, station notes. Includes any experimental training. So yeah. Could be yeah, because sometimes if you're smart enough as a supervisor or as a boss, and you tell you can tell when somebody's smart, you know, and, and you go like mm. I'm going too slow. I'm going too slow for this guy. He already understood, right? Mm -hmm. The process. So you know what? You got it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So let's move to the next step. Great job. Man, you're really fast. Okay. For example, my kid, my my 10-year-old, Xavier. Xavier um, had some problem learning the alphabet, what was it? Learning the syllables, like saying, uh, pape, pipo, pu, right? Mm -hmm. That was too easy for him. So he couldn't make it. He had some problems saying, babe, bo, booby. I was like, mm. okay, so when, when I had the time, I took him with the whiteboard, I had a whiteboard, so I took him to the whiteboard and I said, try this, pa, pe, pi, po, pu. Okay. He was like, pa, pe, po, po. No, that I'm sorry, I don't know. So I said, okay. What about pa, e, pa, i, pa, o, pa, u? Okay. And then we reach a point where he said, bu, with the B. Right, we said buo, and he was like, hey, 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 and I was like, what's the color? And he was like, it's brown and and white, and his eyes are big because my son, I understood my son is going one step ahead. He pictures everything. He pictures everything. So that's some sort of smartness. So you see, if you are able to yeah, read. Yeah, it's a different level. He's not he's not designed for for regular teaching. So I moved him to a special school and called Colegio Palas Atenea. I don't know, but he, man, they taught him. They taught him in a different way. They just told him, "Okay, do whatever you want to do." He was like, "Really? Yeah, do whatever you want to do." Nah. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> he was so happy there and he learned a lot as well. So moving on, what was your favorite type of training or did you identify anyone, uh, Diana, that you could say, oh, I have been there. They taught me through coaching or mentoring or through lecture style training. Hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, but I don't know. <laughs> okay, easier, easier. What's the the most boring one, Wendy? What is the most boring one? The one that you say, "This is, I don't like this." <laughs> Your microphone. Um. Boring what? <laughs> what's the what's the most boring type of training? Type of training. In my case, I I don't receive any training. Okay, let me only, give you an example. Only webinar. Oh well, a webinar. Mm. Yeah. So let me let me explain you something, guys. Training is a method of learning. So let's say if I want to deliver this course, just reading. Will that be good? No, right? I mean, you, 10 minutes and you will be like, oh my God, this is too much. 
right? Um, okay, what is your favorite? You know what? My favorite is the role playing training. Similar to group discussions, role playing specifically ask employees to work through one aspect of their jobs in a control scenario. You know what? I think I told you the I'm good or the best thing that I that I was able to do was firing people, letting go people. It's not easy. It's not easy to to let go somebody, to fire somebody, but I learned by watching my boss, you know? And it was funny because we were in a meeting on just with managers of the academy and he stopped the meeting. And then he did this, he breathed, focused and said, okay, Diego, I have called you today because we have decided that we don't need your job anymore you know your skills you are not the feet you are not what we're looking for so you may stop by the office tomorrow we're going to give you a check with your payment please give me all of your tools you know and stop by the office tomorrow okay nice to meet you thank you very much for your all, all your help do you have any questions no okay good uh, bye. It was that's a it pleasure. my pleasure take care man bye <laughs> Right. That's it. Now, it takes some time to change your mood, your face. You know, I like that part from Alex. Oh, my God, the movie, the Penguins movie, Madagascar. That mm. part of Alex when he goes like. I mean, that that means a lot. If you can control your gestures. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You're done. Yes, teacher. You're right. <laughs> yeah. I was so good at firing people that we, we used to have an American as a teacher. And he was old. He was a war veteran. But the classes needed more energy. And his classes were born. I mean, he was sitting the whole class because he was too old. So I decided to let him go. But I was training another guy, and a manager. You know what happened? He went to the office. Um, and this new guy, I had to teach him how to let go somebody. So I asked him to sit on the desk and let him go, right? I was there just looking somewhere else on my computer and he started talking, okay? So we, we called you today because uh, we think that uh, uh, that you are, you know, that you, you have been doing things great, you know, and we thank you, but we don't need you. And then he got upset and he hit the desk. It was like, no, I don't want you to fire me. I want him to fire me. And I was like, okay. Don't worry, man. Listen, and I was very nice with him and everything. He hugged me, you know, and was like, fine, great. You're the best boss I ever had, and thank you for everything. Take care. That's it. I was like, why? Because he was a kid. So if you have the face of a kid, <laughs> you're letting go an old man. That's difficult. That's difficult. So I hope you got the idea. There's a lot to learn about trainings, so read about it, learn about it. Who knows, one day you will need it, okay? Okay, so, and the positive thing about having different types of training, we will continue with that tomorrow. Let me do the attendance and I'm staying tonight with Diana Elizabeth, if possible, Diana Elizabeth, 10 minutes, cool. Okay, so let's go. Carlos Alfredo Palomo Pineda. Good teacher, good night. Good night, Claudia Maria Melende Santos. Present teacher. Hey, good, want to see you more often. Okay, <laughs> teacher, one question. Yep. The platform is for tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow okay. midnight, platform must be on unit one. Thank you. Thank you. 
say for the bye, reminder. Good night. Good night. Christian, Nathalie, Eraso, Rogel. Present and good. Good night. Diana Elizabeth Coreguinho Martinez. Coreguinho Martinez. Here. Coreguinho. I know it. I know it. Okay. Diego Armando Lopez Rivas. I'm here. Good, good night. night. Good night, man. Have a great Friday. Same to you. I will see you tomorrow. Jorge Humberto Vela Funes. Present and good night. Good night. Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel. Present. Thank you. Good night. Manuel Antonio Palma. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. I'm here, teacher. Good night. Good night. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Present teacher. Thank you. Mario José Valle Castaneda. Nelson René Olmedo Figueroa. Present. Thank you. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Norma Carolina Villeda Avalos. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Silvia Suleima Rodríguez de González. Present teacher. Good night. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Sorry teacher. It's okay. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Good night. Good night teacher. Wendy Maribel Zabaleto Ochoa. Present teacher. Good night. Blessings. Blessings. Good night. Okay, hello Diana, good evening. Hi, teacher. How's it going? <laughs> Fine, I'm just really tired. Tired of what? Yeah. Uh, of working and oh. the class. Okay, the just life. working. <laughs> no, not life. Don't never, <laughs> never get tired of your life. That's not okay. Okay, so what do you do for a living? I work in the call center in web help in human resource. Really? Yes. That's really good. Hey, how's well help, web help? I mean, you work from home then? No, well, in the pandemic, I was uh, working from home, but the, the last years, um, we come back to we came, the site. Came back, you we came, came back, back to the to site. site. Yes. Really? But what is web help? I mean, that, that sounds familiar to me, that the term. It was, before it was called One Link. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. oh, that's the way they name it? Yes, Web do, Help. Do they still have Avianca? Yes. Really? In that company. I, I was there, one or two models at, at the... um building actually at 6 a.m but you know the students never showed up so <laughs> yeah it happens nobody liked to be there at 6 a.m you know in the class and then rush to their shift to take calls yes. are you uh, taking calls no 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 i work in back office uh career path career path oh so you work in administration yes in human oh resources. so this topic that we're talking about for you is like blah, whatever <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes i knew it but why didn't you say something then it was not difficult no, because i i don't give training um no of course but uh the career path tell me more yes. about it about career path, okay. Um, I interview the game changers. The that is the way they name the In interns. I'm sorry, what? Game changers. They changers. Game game. Game changers. Oh, game changers. Okay. Game changers. That's the uh, way you the call employee. the applicants. The employee. Oh, the... the employee. Uh huh. All of us are game okay. changers. Okay, uh-huh. Yes, so I had to interview them when they want to grow in the company. Mm -hmm. And we make all a process. There are different, uh, I forgot how to use a etapas. Stages. A stages? Okay, Stage. a stages. 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 There you go, uh-huh. Okay, 
And but the, the, the thing that I do the most is interview. <laughs> a lot of interviews. And we also do assessment centers. Yeah. There is like, 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 uh, but I'll play in that. that what weird. happens after the interview? I mean, do you help the employee reaching their goal or what? Mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> that okay. is the idea. That is mm -hmm. the goal from career path. But in a call center, there is a lot of back to back. And it is not possible to follow all the, yes. And so no, <laughs> we only, uh, we launch. launch. We, we launch the opportunity and the people apply. They just apply. Do you know what they're, they're well, back in the days, in aquel entonces, en los viejos tiempos, Back in the days, um, when I worked at Stream, which mm -hmm. is now Concentrix, I think, yes. they used to have a career path, but anyway, it was a career path to become a manager or a supervisor, a team lead, whatever mm -hmm. you want to call it. But in order to reach that level, you had to take like a lot of trainings to have an A plus certification, for example, for technical uh, agents and, and so on. But whenever a position became available, the first option was whoever had this level of trainings mm -hmm. completed. So that was tough. It was difficult trainings. Mm -hmm. Some of them were e-learning. Some of them were, you know, one-on-one. -on -one. It was difficult. I went to the lab sometimes because they used to have computers and you had to, you know, repair them there on site. And I was like, wow, <laughs> there's a lot of things to learn. Uh, here is not that difficult. <laughs> <laughs> they they had to uh, to take courses like e-learning about the position, but there are like 10 courses. But if they don't make it, <laughs> if they don't make it through the assessments, I they want okay i'm planning i don't know it's just that i don't want to go back to to call centers but if i wanted to if i had to go back live you know being there um i think i will apply for an administrative position not anymore like taking calls yes. i have the i have the knowledge the experience already and i love administration i mean that that's very interesting more stressful sometimes that is yes. good. but do you like what you do yes yes i really like it because oh. i i had the opportunity of knowing a lot of people getting to know a lot of people meeting a lot of people and how long have you been doing that two years no one year a year, one year in the company yes wow it, wait so you started uh on that position uh, I am a psychologist. A, a psychologist. psychologist. Really? Yes. What can you tell about me? Am I crazy? <laughs> <laughs> I think all, all, all are. All, all of us are. All of us are. <laughs> yes. Really? Yeah, this is true. <laughs> and it's better, right? Crazy people is better than the standard people, you know. Yes, than normal people. <laughs> yeah, it's better to be a little rare. A little rare. I think so. Okay. And other than working there, what do you do for a living? Do you have kids? <laughs> no, no, I don't have kids. I have four cats and one dog. <laughs> and a dog, four cats and a dog. That sounds like living alone or with your parents? I live with my uncle. My mom lives in the United States. Wow. Do you speak in English with her? No. <laughs> My mom never wants to learn. I don't know. What? <laughs> yeah. Because she has like 20 years there. She has been living for 20 years in the States. My mom has been in the States for 36. No, wait, hold on. Uh, 30, 30. Oh, my God. 32, 33 years. 33 years already. <laughs> But she does speak English, although she makes some mistakes and she doesn't like me to correct her. 
<laughs> That's funny. <laughs> uh, well, yes. it's good to hear that. Take care of her, you know, try it. Push her for her to speak. I have uh, two cats and a dog, but one of my cats is dying. Oh. He, he has um, greasy liver, greasy liver. Mm -hmm. So yes. weird, you know, we noticed that he was becoming part of the Simpsons. Mm -hmm. He was turning yellow, his yellow. ears, mm -hmm. his nose, the paws, and he was a little bit sad, you know. And now I took him to the Chivo Pet the day before yesterday. That's why yesterday I was like, you know, really mm -hmm. tired, if you notice, because I, I, I didn't sleep two days ago because I took him and they said, it's just the liver, you know, it's failing. Hmm. So he's gonna pass away, unfortunately. So oh, no, sorry. yeah, it's very sad. But that's the way it is. You have to take care of your pets. Yes, my cat. One of my cats has sida. <laughs> uh, yeah, I heard that. I heard that it it's que no se pasa entre gatos. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! Be careful. But only on on when they fight. When, and uh, pelean. when they fight, really? I mean, yeah, the same way through blood and, and sexual contact, I guess. No, only through blood. Oh, really? And I think sali sali saliva. Saliva? Saliva? Saliva, yes. Oh, really? Okay, uh, hold on. Let but my... see if I can do this. See that? <laughs> it's a hush key. <laughs> He's just behind my chair as usual. <laughs> He's always there, Max. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's... <laughs> <laughs> okay, Diana. It was nice to meet you. Take care Thank of your you, pets. Do your best at your job. Good night. <laughs> Thank you. Good night. <laughs>